your girlfriend or your boyfriend once told you that you were such a bad cook because you burned the pizza once, omitting the hundred delicious meals you have made for her or him in the past year, then you have probably been a victim of cherry picking. Cherry picking is one of the most common uh, approaches to hasty generalization. It happens when you select only the events or the data that fit your narrative and you ignore whatever event or data doesn't. It is usually a deliberate move, but not necessarily. It can be the result of a cognitive bias, and notably the confirmation bias. In the field of data analysis, climate change deniers have provided with some of the best and most famous examples of cherry picking. Unless you have been living under a rock for over the past 40 years, you must have heard that of all, the temperature of the planet uh, has been increasing over the past centuries. You know, all the carbon dioxide we emit whenever we take the plane, for instance, it ends up in the atmosphere and creates what is called the greenhouse effect. While some skeptics dispute the fact that the rise in temperature derives from human activities, some go even further but by denying the very existence of a global warming. They are not numerous, but still. And moreover, they have the audacity to use data to support the claim. They usually come up with this graph. That shows the recent decline in average yearly temperature in recent years. What they usually do not show, however, is the rest of the graph that shows a clear trend over the century. Of course, it is possible to do cherry picking with any kind of data, descriptive statistics like percentages, averages, with statistical tests, you name it. It's about ignoring the data that do not fit your narrative. 